I relay uh, mostly for my grandmother. She passed away from cancer about three years ago, and also for my little cousin who is a survivor now for two years. I saw this event and I asked the members of the Philippine Student Association if they wanted to do it and we got a lot of volunteers, a lot of people interested. I am a survivor of um, stage three melanoma uh, two years ago. My little sister, she had leukemia. She's been uh, eight years in remission now and she was actually part of the survivor lab here. She's here with us. Me and my little sister and my whole family actually been through a lot and stuff and so the fact that she's here to take that lab is really just very special. I am a seven-year survivor of cancer. It's powerful taking that first survivor lap because it just makes you, you know, no matter how far away, you're still a cancer survivor and it just really reminds you of what you've been through and how well how you've made it from there. It's really nice to see all the good support and stuff. Uh, makes me feel really, really awesome. Um, I got my friends here, they're really supportive and uh, it's just so good to see that people are actually aware of the threat of cancer and are pushing for a cure. Our theme, as you can see, is superheroes. We are, we are fighting cancer, fighting cancer. With, fighting cancer. <laughs> with our superpowers. <laughs> We just wanted to do kind of a fun theme and um, we got some Hawaiian stuff together and got some cute girls together and here we are. We've got some baked goods, we've got some uh, some candies and other sort of uh, desserty snack type objects. Because people get hungry when they're fighting cancer and we're here to help cure munchies as well as cancer. We had um, flyers put all over the dorms and just tried to get everyone to come out for an all-you-can-eat spaghetti dinner for five dollars. Together Katie and I went around to neighborhoods and just knocked on the door asking for their spare change and we were able to raise a lot of money that way. In your name, your family and friends will stand up tall and fight. We will not fight to bring you back, but to keep you in our hearts, giving hope to others like you, giving them fresh starts. We're fighting for a cure, supporting those who try, so families like yours will never have to cry. They'll stand up tall with candles lit, waving through the air, bow their heads in remembrance, wishing you were there. Yet every candle lit, gives off a little light, and with all the candles here, the future is looking bright. My aunt came tonight, and she is a survivor of cancer. She's had it for six years. She has brain cancer, lung cancer, liver cancer, and breast cancer, and she's still hanging in there and surviving. It was nice to have her here with me, and you know, for us to actually, you know, just sit and think about each other, and her mom passed away with cancer and stuff, so it's very touching. Me and my, my sister, our dad, he had testicular cancer um, two years ago. Didn't really know that much about it. So many people do die from cancer, like every single year. I think that this is a great program. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to take turns, you know, some of us be on uh, walking around and then I don't know how, how I'm going to do it. Caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. I'm, 
plan on walking the track, talking, bonding, playing some cards, whatever we can do. Stay up. All right, are you guys ready? Thermal? Go for it. I just think it's important that we're still out here because everyone should have a cure and no one should have to die from this anymore. I think it's really important to be involved because the more we raise money to help find a cure, the more chance there is of finding a cure.